Occidental College is the only liberal arts college in Los Angeles. I was really excited to come to Occidental College because it offered the best of both worlds. I got a small liberal arts feel while also being in a major city like Los Angeles. A lot of the small liberal arts schools I was looking at were in rural places or small towns, um, but I really wanted to live in a bigger city. You're going to be able to talk to your professors and ask for help if you need it and really connect with them. Um, but beyond that, there are also a lot of opportunities where you can get off campus and still be learning for your classes. For you as a student to be able to take academic knowledge and transfer that into an active partnership with community members and city officials is something that means that your education matters, that it has an impact. And to me that makes your engagement so important because that's the essence of what we want to do at Occidental College. In my class, not only do you get international trade theory and international trade data and discussions, you also get to leave the classroom. I get to go with people in my small classes and we're really connecting what we learn in the classroom to such a diverse and politically interesting city that's connected not only with the locality but the globe. At Occidental, we don't consider Los Angeles a laboratory into which we send students to learn. Students learn by doing in partnership with communities, with city government, with cultural organizations, with partners in Los Angeles. So we say that students at Occidental learn in and with the city of Los Angeles. LA is one of the largest cities in the country. Just by living and working and studying here, um, it's imperative that our courses are engaged. You will as students coming to Oxy, kind of learn in the classroom, but also be afforded the chance to work in the community, learn from the community. We got to meet with the people who are actually leading the fight for food justice in Los Angeles. And we got to see the spaces where they're building community and building sustainable growing practices, which was really exciting to see that work in action and see what that looks like on the local scale. So looking at how a local community can grow and provide healthy, nutritious food for its own community in the face of different challenges like developers coming in and taking their land. We were able to see this amazing community that's very resilient and supportive of one another, growing food for themselves and sustaining themselves in creative and innovative ways. I was able to go on a class trip to the LA port with my economic senior seminar, which is a class of about 15 students where we're learning very specific topics within our field. Within this class, I was learning about international trade and investment, and so we got to learn about how firms make decisions based on whether they should export, whether they should produce domestically in their own country. I think it is critical for students to hear different perspectives. I partner with a company down in the Port of Los Angeles where they give us presentations and they provide us their point of view. So to me that, that's important for our students to hear a different perspective than that of their professors or even that of their own peers. The containers get sent down or picked up off the ground. We can talk about numbers and how many tons of products are loaded in and out of the LA port, but once we got to see it, it's a pretty endless landscape of just shipping containers and ships coming in and out of our city and how all of those products end up in our hands. In my field of urban and environmental policy, for example, many of our students come hungry to learn about solutions to climate change, to gentrification, to houselessness, to poverty, to inequality. And for our classes, it's imperative for us to be in the community, with community in Los Angeles, understanding what the full reality is of, of people's experiences here. Students bring their own experiences based on where you're from or what you've learned and you have ideas. Our job as faculty or my job as a faculty member is actually to put you in conversation with the city, with community partners in the city, to grapple with the contradictions, um, put you in deep reflection about what you're seeing, experiencing, learning from community partners so that you as students could think about critically what's happening and think, this is the most important part to me, which is think about solutions. So we're standing on the San Andreas Fault at Pallet Creek. 
and it's one of the most famous earthquake sites in the world. I don't know if these rocks look familiar to you, but they've been in a ton of movies, a ton of TV commercials. We went out to go see the different rock structures and formations and minerals in different places and how they got there. One of the things that's really great about LA and about Oxy is that we can go and we can see these things in our backyard. We can put our hands on the rocks and we can really put together a comprehensive picture. So in other parts of the country, we may talk about earthquakes and we may talk about major faults and we may talk about these different kinds of rocks, but we can't go and see them. And so they remain these kind of abstract concepts or this little piece of a rock that I may hand you in a lab. But here we can see it in the lab, we can talk about it in the class, and we can go see it in its context. We can tell the story of the earth all at once and say like, oh, hey, do you remember that thing that I told you on Tuesday? Here it is. We started at the marina in San Pedro and then we went out into the ocean. It's a quick drive through downtown LA to the coastline and we could be on a boat in less than an hour. Marine science is not something that is built to be taught in a classroom. I think a lot of, whenever we talk about ecosystems and organisms, getting to see them firsthand is really where you can physically appreciate the size that they are, how they have adapted their bodies to work in the environment that they live in. It's like learning how to fly from a book. It's not something that's easily done. You have to do it, you have to experience it, you have to be involved in it before you can really appreciate the entirety of the, the subject. It was really cool to see like the different kinds of organisms that we found at each different depth. It was like so drastically different, more than I would have thought. Students learn best by doing. And when students are learning in their classrooms about issues and concerns, there's no better way than, than teaching students how to address those issues and to give them experience out in the community, learning how the things that they're learning about in their classroom are playing out in real time and for real people, and learning how to solve those problems and seeing how those solutions can be generated in partnership with the community. As a student at Occidental, you really get to engage in some deep community-based learning. I found it really exciting the ways in which Oxy has connected me to local leaders and local artists and combined the work that I'm doing in the classroom with what's actually happening out in the real world. And I feel that's prepared me really well for graduating in May and feeling like I understand what these theories and these concepts we've talked about, what they look like in the real world. Even though I'm just a first year at Oxy, I've already had the opportunity to go out and do research with an on-campus marine science lab. Um, I have joined the rugby team, which is a sport I've never played before. Um, I work at the theater costume shop. Through the class trips, the academics inside the classroom, and internships outside, I've really been able to tie together my education and experience at Oxy that makes me more well-rounded to go through Los Angeles, understanding how the dynamics work in the city, as well as be connected to like the world around me. I know of no other college that offers this sort of opportunity to, to incoming students, be it in Los Angeles or in other parts of the country or the world. The ability to work as real world partners with community and city officials is something unique, something powerful, something transformative. <laughs>